I'm really excited today because in my hand, I have a copy of our new one pot book from the kitchens right here at Martha Stewart. Over 120 fantastic one pot recipes using every pot in your kitchen, the skillet, the stock pot, the Dutch oven, the slow cooker, and even the pressure cooker. And today I'm gonna share a great recipe. It's a pressure cooker stroganoff. You're gonna love it. Have you ever used a pressure cooker? It's a little bit scary, right? I grew up being kind of afraid of pressure cookers because, well, sometimes they used to explode back in the day when I was a kid. But now they're much safer, really easy to use. I think you should get one if you're someone who likes to cook a lot, especially if you like things like braises and long cooked meals because it shortens the time by like hours. I'm not joking. This stroganoff uses beef short ribs and it only cooks for about 35 minutes. I've just finished slicing up one pound of button mushrooms. Here I have some soaked porcini mushrooms. This is what they look like when they're dry. They kind of look like little pieces of bark, but they're full of amazing flavor. Just soak one ounce in one and a half cups of boiling water for about 10 minutes, and then strain the liquid because sometimes there's like dirt or little pieces in there that you don't want. I have two pounds of boneless short ribs here. They need to be seasoned with salt and pepper. The pan is heating, add a little bit of oil, and then sear your short ribs until they're golden brown on all sides. Advantage of such a deep and narrow pot is you don't get splattered as much when you're browning your meat. I feel like sometimes I rush through this part and I'm the one who suffers because, well, a lot of your flavor comes from the browning. Take them out, add another tablespoon of oil, then one onion that's been thinly sliced, and the button mushrooms, the one pound of mushrooms. You wanna stir and cook these until the mushrooms get a little bit golden brown. It's all about adding layers of flavor with me. Get the most out of your ingredients. We tried really hard in this book to keep the ingredient lists short so that the recipes were simple, but to make the most out of every ingredient that we use. You can season with a little bit of salt and pepper. The mushrooms squeak like, uh, like a chalkboard. Why do they do that? Stop it! I can't take it anymore. I have to add my liquid. Add two cups of chicken broth, the soaked mushrooms, the strained mushroom broth, and all your meat. Now comes the pressure part. Put your lid on. It looks a little bit complicated, but if you read the directions of your pressure cooker, it should be fine. You line up the two lines. There's a line on the handle and a line on the lid. Then close it. Press this little gray button up that locks it. And then set it to, we want high. And you have it on a medium high heat. And you just wait until the yellow button pops up. That means it's at pressure. You might hear some noises. Don't be afraid, it's totally fine. After 30 minutes, turn off the heat and then release the pressure. until that yellow button goes down and then the pressure is released. It won't allow you to take the lid off while it's under pressure. So that's the safety measures that didn't exist, I think, back in the 70s. And there you go. You have your stew. Now this gets served with noodles, right? And I'm gonna cook this straight into the broth. So just add your noodles. I'm living life dangerously. I am shredding my meat as my noodles are cooking. You probably should do this while it's off the heat, but I just can't wait. Listen, I, I know patience is a virtue, but I don't have a lot of it. <laughs> I want to taste it too. Mm -hmm. Oh my God, so good. The finishing touches are some sour cream, classic finishing touch, a half a cup. Gotta make it creamy, right? Four teaspoons of Dijon mustard. And voila, just like that, you have maybe better than the original beef stroganoff, I think. I'm gonna have a bowl and then I'll tell you. Sprinkle your stew with a little bit of fresh dill. I say that's the best that one pot has to offer. This recipe and 120 others are right here in this book, One Pot from us here at Martha Stewart. Pick it up today.
Hi guys, thanks for watching this video. Be sure to click here if you want to subscribe and click over here if you want to continue watching more great videos like this.